Howdy, y'all. My name is Price, and welcome back to some more Epic Chef. Oh man, that, that really dried out my mouth. Uh, so, uh, I just finished recording the last episode. We needed to get some apple wood in order to um, uh, build these quality planks. I may need to get some other wood as well. Let us see. So, we're going to make a couple more of these planks. Um, I think we're going to need a bunch more in the future anyways. So, let's do that. I actually probably needed six, didn't I? Because I need to make a couple of these guys. Or do you need to make three of these? Oh, but each one only costs one. Okay, good. Um, so let's put away all but three. And then I think I already have some planks in here. All right, I have two. And then let's make another one. Perfect. And that'll give me a, a reason to go chop down a bunch of wood again soon. But let's do this. And we have two. Oh, I need to make another of the basic wood. Uh, planks. Do, 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 do. Okay. And then that. Okay, cool. We have three of those. Let's build the mixer. All right, that's all it takes. Okay. So how do I rotate you again? Oh, is it just like the direction I look? I think there is a button to do it, but you know. All right, well, we'll put this over with all of the machinery that we have so far. I feel like that's just the easiest way for me to do it is to have like a workshop, essentially. Okay, with the mixer, I, I probably want to get a chest for the mixer, though. Um, what do we have the recipes for? We have ground beef. Okay, uh, I could definitely make that, and it's got a lot... Uh, ooh, and it's mechanical and um, animal, which is a synergy that I need for a lot of things. And it works with water leaf. I wonder what water leaf is going to be. Uh, okay, ground beef, special dough. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, now we're getting into some stuff. Now we're getting into some stuff. The ghost Tato! All right, we need another Mandragora. And then we need um, a potato. So we're just waiting on that. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and we will... Um, well, I should probably grab a bunch of tomatoes and sell them to that one guy so we can get some of our money back. Let's go ahead and summon another cow um, and see, you know, the whole do they breed thing. So I'm going to let them be... Oh, we do have to feed them. Cow feed. Uh, but you know what? I can make that again. Oh, that's the cow feeder. So this is the cow sacrificial thing. That's right. Uh, offer cow sacrificial. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do that? Why doing that? That's, um, not okay. Okay. That was weird. Um, let me put this in my hand. Take that. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, and that one wants to eat, but you know what? Um, there is food in there, so you'll be fine. Now, let me see what I need to do in order to make that feed. I'm guessing it's in the saucery, um, because I know I've been able to make it already. No, not there. Oh, the windmill. Yeah, okay, what do we mill? Probably just rice. Oh, tomatoes and carrots. Easy. Um, let's go grab a bunch of those so that we can make some feed and just fill that thing up, because I don't want to have to, like... Um, deal with that for too long. I don't know why that cow was like, oh, I can't eat. Oh, okay, now he's good. Um, carrots. Okay, and there's a couple that I need to re, um, replant. Because I always like to have my eight, but it's not like a priority, and it doesn't really like, it doesn't have to happen, you know? Uh, okay. Let's make some feed. Do, do, do. Okay. And make another one. All right. Four of those. Nice. Got some boost to the yellow. Oh, man. It's going to be interesting. I need to start making. And so that's why I should make a chest for that side. I need to start making a lot of those. Um, oh, cool. They spot, They do twice a day. Um, I need to make a chest. Oh, this could be for uh, Mandragoras eventually. Um, but anyway, I, I was going to say that there's the stuff over there, like the dough and all that kind of stuff that I, uh, want to mess with. Um, oh, let's go put this food in here. Um, now I can make the ghost tato, by the way. But yeah, anyway, making all that stuff and seeing what that can do with combos, because it's just so much more powerful. I was wondering, I told y'all, I was wondering kind of how it was going to boost in the future. Um, now I know. Uh, so, okay, that'll only feed them for a couple days, but you know what? I can keep making... A bunch of that each day, and it'll eventually fill. So what does it take to make a chest again? Just wood. Just wood. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to not be able to do the uh, tomato thing today. It's fine. Uh, plus, I already grabbed all my uh, tomatoes and did stuff anyway. So let me we're going to chop some more trees, get some more wood and work on um, we're going to build that chest and then we'll build our ghost tato. And uh, we'll see what we do from there. I'm intrigued because I think that means we're going to do a battle with Terapio or whatever. Um, so I may want to think about what goes well with the Ghost Tato's, like, stuff, you know? Um, and we don't know about the sauce, um, like, what the specialty would be of that person. So we may have to, like, lose a fight to know that. Um, or it just, like, that may happen, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, and that's okay, because it will, um, uh, it'll give us the information that we need. Okay, oh, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect. And we'll actually do it kind of forward like this. I can always put another one behind it, but this way it's kind of, like, easily accessible. All right, so let's make that ghost tato. Oh, I'm so excited. That's so neat. Okay, we got the ghost tato. What does my quest say now? Um, create a ghost tato. I did it. Right? I did it. What's with these? Why are these... Exclamation, exclamation. What's going on? I don't know what that's doing. Okay. I'm gonna put it in my hand. Alright, well I've done it. And I don't know what it wants me to do now. We will just wait until the morning. Oh, I have to show it to the guy, I think. Um, I think that's what it is. I need to show it to the, the ghost. Uh, so maybe it's not a battle. Maybe it is just a, um, a thing to show him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's showing me the door. Okay. Um, let me think. Real quick. Just in case I have to. Ooh! It's got like a magical quality. It works well with rice. And rice works well with... Oh, I don't know if I can get that. Um, but if I put rice in first, and then a ghost tato, what goes well with rice? What is rice? What is rice? Um, oh, a potato. A regular potato. Do, 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 do. You know, obviously I could go and try and make one of the more fancy things, but this is just like protection. So it would go rice, ghost tato, potato. Okay. Agoria's still trapped in the desolate gap between worlds. I see, I see. Still suffering from that hunger of yours. Indeed, I'm on it. The mages in town should be able to help me out. I see. It can prove useful to enlist the help of disposable erudites. But try not to tell them more than they need to hear, lest their greedy minds start breeding insidious thoughts of usurpation and betrayal. Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, let's, I thought I was supposed to give it to him. Do I need to put it in a dish? Good news! I found a solution to your problem. Right here! You have? Already? I expected more! I'm, I mean, that's truly some splendid news, my worthy descendant. May I see it? Of course! Here! This, this is a potato. It's sort of the ghost of a potato. It's called a ghost potato. I figured that you could solve your hunger problems with this. Hmm. You... You expect me to eat this? Yeah, you said you were hungry, right? That should fill your spectral belly. That's not what I meant, you buffoon! Yikes. I was talking about my hunger for the ancient forbidden knowledge of the secrets of life and death! Hey, it's not my fault if you use convoluted language and expect people to understand what you're saying. You really thought a ghostly apparition materialized in this world to ask you for a potato? Hey, how was I supposed to know? Considering the local obsession with food, an undead entity looking for a snack pretty much fits right in. And you're a specter, not a ghost. What's the difference? Well, any idiot would have known I wasn't talking literally, and they're the same thing! No, they're not. A ghost has no conscience of its own. It's sort of a memory acting automatically, whereas a specter is a conscious being. You pulled that definition, uh, definition out of your arse. Most people agree that they are interchangeable. Oh, really? I thought that someone so hungry for ancient forbidden knowledge of the secrets of life and death would use a bit more specific terminology instead of basing his lexic on what most people say. Hmm. So you want to get technical A, eh, smartass? If anything, I'm a spirit. See? That's more spectery than ghosty. Hmm. 
How do you know all of this anyway? I did some studying back home. There is no back home. This is your home. You need to answer to the call of your bloodline. This again. In my unending quest for forbidden knowledge, I was inescapably forced to foolishly unleash an unspeakable evil on this victimized land. The Underdigger, a poisonous spawn capable of swallowing a mountain whole. Growing wild underneath, relentlessly corrupting the tainted earth with its venomous tentacles. Wait, is, is that thing some sort of animal? A plant, but not just any meager vegetable. It's a prodigious monstrosity, a macabre spawn, heretically brought back from the era of myth. Oh, you mean vines or tendrils or whatever then? Not tentacles. And what's with the adjective bombing, or <laughs> adjective bombing? Are you trying to impress me? Hmm... I'm trying to warn you about the dangers of this land, so you don't end up getting dragged to a horrible death. But sure, do get lost in technicalities. Be my guest. I guess at least you'll die with a smug smile on your face. Point? Very taken. Please, do go on. What else is dangerous around here? Big hunger, hmm, I mean, creatures of formidable voracity lurk in this land. Tenor spiders, implacable predators whose screams of doom will haunt your nightmares. That sounds pretty serious. Worry not, I enslaved them to guard the ruin. They have been magically sustained for decades and bound to an obedience field. They shall only devour those foolish enough to enter the forbidden ruins. And elves, of course. Elves? Yes, elves. What? You're an elf lover? Well, not a lover, just, you know, not a murderer. Elves are evil. We're at war with their damn homogeny for good reason. The homogeny sucks, true, but they seem to have left us all alone for like a decade now. The homogeny will come back like they always do. It's been a constant. The w they want to make us kneel again, like in olden times. If you find an elf in Concordia, he's most likely to be a deserter or someone born here. They still have no damn business snooping around my property. Post a beware of the spiders sign if you're so worried. Okay, I'll make sure no one gets close to the ruins, and no one with pointy ears enters my property. In any case, what's this about the forbidden ruins? The object of my obsession lies within an ancient temple dating from the era of myth, from when Temperus walked amongst us and lit his flame in the darkness. It is said to hold a gateway to the land of the gods, guarded by a dragon. There's a dragon down there? And people are worried about the ghost of an old man? Worry not about the dragon, for the ruins were sealed as I expired my last breath by the same spell that bound my spirit to this world. I see. Uh, very reassuring. And what about the bird? The bird? Yeah, that giant chicken that keeps screaming and waking me up from my sleep. I don't know. Must be just a bird. By the way, we know this guy's a bad guy, right? He's definitely evil. He's got an axe, a sword, and a pickaxe in his head. The town killed him, for sure. Just saying. Yeah, well, it's making my life hell. Do you know how I could get rid of it? Look, that bird is not important. The family curse is what matters. The seal I cast upon my death has kept the ruin free of intruders. But now that you're here, we can get inside. But first, you'll need to recover the rod of domination. We are powerless without it. We have a lot to do, my descendant. A lot to do. Yeah, about that. What? I don't think I'm related to you. I just bought this property from a woman I met, Nornius. She seemed very eager to get rid of the place. What? This has to be some sort of mistake. The deed was clear on the urgency of the matter. Well, she very specifically said, screw that old bastard. I didn't know what she meant at that time. But, but, my lineage. I'm sorry to hear that, really, but, um, well, this place is now legally mine. So if you'd be so kind as to take your haunting somewhere else, I would be grateful. How dare you! I built this place out of nothing! You cannot simply kick me out like some sort of pathetic bum! I'm beyond your comprehension, you hear? I defeated death itself! Leave this place now, or you'll wish you'd never been born! You are powerless against my undying wrath! Um. 
Please, don't burn the painting. It was all a misunderstanding. I'm a good fellow. We can be friends. Yes, friends. Will you drop that tone? Yes. And stop using the scary face? Yes. <laughs> Look, I'm not all that happy about having a specter around, but I'm also not the kind of person who enjoys evicting old people out of their homes. You can stay here if you don't cause any trouble. I'll be good. I'll be good. Fine then. Maybe we'll be able to do a thing or two about those curses. Perhaps start by getting rid of that demonic geranium and the spider security force. There's nothing we can do about them without the Rod of Domination. And the one I had was lost long ago. I thought you knew about it the first time we spoke, but instead you came back with an undead potato. Try to think of something then. But I definitely won't be the guy who walks around town asking for a Rod of Domination. Yes, God forbid anyone thought you might be a strange person. Hm. Okay. We created a ghost Tato. What's the next one say? Okay. Um, whoops, wrong button. Okay. Prepare to fight Terapio. Obtain a chef uniform, obtain a special potato. I should get a chef uniform and special potato and show them to Mitriel at the beach cave at night. Do I still have it? I do still have it. Okay. So again, just to remind myself, we go wheat. No, hold on, hold on. Or, it's rice. Rice, ghost potato, potato, right? Yes, because the rice, yes. Okay. It's just, it's one, oh no, not potato. It needs to be a tomato. It needs to be a tomato because potato does not do the same thing as tomato. A tomato is the one that does uh, the green and uh, red. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Not gonna worry about um, giving that guy's thing. I don't remember where. Oh, we have side notes. The doctors were good people. Maybe I can count on them when I need a helping hand. I should keep Hadriv and his people in mind. Who knows when I can need a friend? Uh, I might want to keep Scrabba's place in mind. She might have something useful for me in the future. That's right. I don't think I've been to her place yet, but I have been and seen the um, the airstrip guys and the uh, the old couple, um, and it's just like. The ability to get some pips, right? I think that's what it is. But, I mean, that could be useful if they have good stuff. And they, they might have conversational things as well. Um, okay, where's Terapio? Are you Terapio? I feel like it was him. Oh, no, I have to give it to... It's Chumbas. I have to put on a chef's outfit. Hold on. I know there's one of these things. Oh, it's 8 p.m. So I just need to go over there at night, which it is night. How do I... Can't I change here? Oh, no. There's one on the beach, too. It better not be turned off at night. That would suck. <sighs> I mean, I do have the chef's hat on, but, um, you know. Okay. Please tell me I can do this. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Chef outfit. There we go. Okay. Where's Mitriel? Over here, probably, right? She said, come to the beach. This is the beach. Where are you at? Okay, cool. And she was kind of doing evil stuff, right? I have the chef outfit, but I still need to present her with the right ingredient. Oh, okay, that's right. You gotta put it in your hand. Hey, Mitriel, take a look at this! What? What in the hells is this? It's the essence of a potato. I call it a ghost potato. How did you get something like that? It's a long story. You think it'll do, though? Uh... If he presents something like this and manages to make it taste good, they will build him a damn statue. You think it'll do? Eh, a bit extravagant, but it might do the trick. Yeah. Great! We can cross this one from the list, then. And as you can see, I also got myself a fancy uniform. I see. Is that all you managed to get? What? You think it needs more glitter or something? You know, for a person who calls himself Zest, you ain't exactly a fountain of pizzazz. It sounds, it also looks like pizzas. Well, I guess names don't necessarily go with personality. Looks like it. I mean, your name ain't Bill Tong, but you sure are jerky as hell. <laughs> hey, I'm helping you out of the kindness of my heart, remember? Out of remorse, you mean? It's the same. It's not the same at all. Anyway, this'll have to do. We can cross this one off the list. Neat. I suppose so. But don't get cocky. You have no idea what you're stepping into. I have an idea. Yes. 
The orc mafia wants to deep fry me in oil. I'm just trying to keep my spirits up. There are worse things than Lorcosa Nostra. It's a blasted cooking contest, Mitriel. It's not like I'm facing a doomsday cult. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no. The critic union? Oh y'all, things are changing. The Council of Despair? Who is this? Let's see, Mal the Viscous. The meeting begins. First point of the day. Let us give a big thank you to Isferato for getting us the brand new headquarters. Even if something needs to be done about the current decoration. You wanted a tower? I got us a tower. It was cheap after the previous owners left. Oh my gosh, they just they came into this evil place. Okay. And why would they leave such a charming place? Some kind, uh, some kids slayed their dark whatever and their plot was foiled. Their loss, our gain. Just be happy that you didn't have to get your delicate elven hands dirty by cleaning up the severed tentacle mess in El Debnar. Oh yes, certainly your orcish hands are more suited for brutish tasks of this kind. <sighs> you win this one. That, that will be enough regarding the tower. Let's get through today's stuff. Any news? Well, the majors have a special new dish this week. Something about changing hair color when eating it. Hair color? They're running out of ideas. The levitation dessert was amusing, but they're stretching the shenanigans a bit too much lately. Well, it sounds interesting to me. I'll be covering it. Um, oh gosh. Um... It definitely suits you. Having people focusing on your hair color rather than your actual cuisine. It's called branding, Engra, and some color wouldn't kill you, sweetheart. I could lend you one of my outfits. Maybe that way they'd stop calling you the ghost. You keep dressing like that, disrespecting the outfit of show. You're not even a chef. At least we have something in common. <laughs> Well, I must say, it's been a slow week. Same old league, same old restaurants. Most interesting thing I've heard is that Chef Bolton managed to improve the jiggliness of his melon jelly re recipe by 300%. Jiggling melons, really? That is very last decade. People seem to like it. Of course they do. Other than, uh, other than that, the leagues are proceeding as usual. No events except for some newcomer who challenged Terapio, and some say there's been a sighting of a sea monster inside of the security perimeter. What did you say? Uh, don't worry, they're just rumors. I, I don't think any monster would. Not that. A newcomer challenged Terapio. Who? Some nobody who came from abroad. Now that's interesting. I don't see how. Terapia will crush the poor lad, Mal. It's an epic story unfolding. More like a tragedy striking. Still a story, Angra, and in the right hands, it might prove to be a very powerful one. Whoa! Y'all. Y'all. Stuff is happening. But... That's going to be where we end this episode, y'all. Uh, wow. Wow. I don't, I don't know where it's going to go from here. Things have just changed. The League of Critics or whatever? I, are they evil? Are they good? I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below. Seriously, both of those things, they really help with getting the algorithm to put my stuff in front of new people. Beyond that, y'all, though, the most important thing, have a wonderful rest of your day. My name has been Price, and I will see y'all next time.